Strickland, as lawmakers are set to return to Columbia next week, the governor has unveiled his budget plan for the 2024 fiscal year. News 19's Becky Budge has the story. The governor's $11.6 billion proposal includes income tax relief and investments in education, economic development, and public safety. The education, the economic growth, and our environmental and cultural heritage. Those are the three pillars of our strength and you have to have them all working. Two weeks after the westbound span of I-20 was closed for repairs, the governor is asking legislators to put $500 million of surplus money towards fixing the state's deteriorating bridges. Too many have been closed while others are in such a state of disrepair that the required restrictions render them useless for commercial trucking, school buses, fire trucks, and those kind of heavy vehicles needed to serve our increasing population. Democratic Senator Dion Tedder says this is long overdue. President Biden and his administration has done a phenomenal job sending this money down uh, with the infrastructure bill, uh, and that's why we're allowed and we're able to direct these funds that way. In education, the governor proposes $250 million for state aid to classrooms and $115 million for instructional materials. You got to have education. If these young, young, young people coming up, if they go get to the top, we got to start with them at the bottom and we got to move them in. Addressing mental health challenges and homelessness, the governor proposed $10 million for the city of Columbia and Richland County to pilot a comprehensive resource center. This project is based upon a model used in Houston, Texas, in the metropolitan area. And after a dozen years in Houston, they saw a 64% reduction in homelessness. Other priorities include $13 million for school resource officers, $21 million for full-day 4K, $17.8 million for law enforcement pay raises, and $30 million for education scholarship accounts. Ultimately, the fate of the proposal lies in the hands of the legislator as they begin to shape the budget for the upcoming fiscal year, which starts July 1st. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. All right, Becky, the 2024 legislative session begins Tuesday at noon. Before that, though, newly elected District 19 Senator Tamika Isaac Devine will be sworn in. That takes place Monday. Then on Tuesday, the House and Senate will both have full days of committee meetings. This includes House subcommittees on agriculture and environmental affairs and Senate meetings on education and medical affairs. And there are a lot of bills that are going to be in up for debate this session. A Senate bill aims to reform who can vote judges, uh, who can vote for judges, I should say, preventing members of the General Assembly who are licensed attorneys from voting. And another disqualifies any person closely related to a member of the General Assembly from being a judge. In education, there is a bill which establishes statewide policies concerning sex identification and personal pronoun usage in K through 12 public schools. This includes changes to sex ed class curriculum. And the hate crime bill will make a return this year after previously stalling out in the Senate.